Hey guys, it's your boy, Yubi Croon's Horde, back at it again. With a heart attack on a plate. Heart attack on a plate. Mmm, mmm. It's waffles, Nutella, whipped cream, and blackberry dessert sauce. I am ready to have a heart attack in my chair. Let's get this shit started. Wing. Oh, man, I can't wait to bite in it. Mmm. Why can't you go outside? <laughs> the outside world is a dangerous place. That is true. That's why I don't go outside. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> oh, yeah, right into the battle. It seems like almost every single world in Kingdom Hearts, when you first enter it, has kind of the same gist to it. You enter the yeah. world, somebody's getting attacked by Heartless, you go and kill the Heartless, you become friends with them, and then they basically escort you around. Well, yeah, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. I mean, that's true, but still. Yeah, it's really overdone. But that happened a lot in Kingdom Hearts, too. Like, literally every single world opened up. Every one of them. Mm-hmm. I mean, at least with Kingdom Hearts 3, it starts out by throwing the, uh... You're about to die, by the way. Um, yeah. It starts out by throwing the, what's, um, um... In Twilight Town, I mean. It starts out by throwing out the Heartless dude at you. The Heartless mass, whatever you want to call it. The one you got stuck on? Uh-huh. I remember that too well. Yeah, it turns out... If I had just done what I did with this last boss, I could have beaten him easily. I just kept rushing in to try and attack him. That is not how you win Kingdom Hearts 3 Critical. <laughs> That's how you win the regular game. Yes. Because they die before you can deal any damage to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you hit them once and they just... <laughs> Dead. <laughs> yeah, that's not surprising. I'm so glad we don't have to go for completion this stuff on this one. Yeah, I know. I already did it once, and I don't want to do it then. <laughs> this might be a good spot for ingredients. <laughs> That's not going to have the models up. Nope. But remember, these guys can one-shot you. Yeah, that's why I'm staying back. I'll let the other idiots run in there. Yeah, that's fair. Well, they get themselves up over time, too. Once you're dead, you're dead. <laughs> Once you die, everyone dies. But if somebody else dies, then, you know... They it just come back five minutes later. Bro. When I was younger, I was playing hard mode of uh, Kingdom Hearts 1... And I could not beat Cerberus for the life of me. So you know what I did to beat him? What? I went up to the top of the, um, the, what's it called? The, oh, you went up to the top of the Coliseum? Like, the stands? Yeah, went up to the top of the stands and just stood there and had Donald and Goofy do all the damage. And an hour and 27 minutes later... He's down to 1 HP, and then I realize after about 5 minutes that I have to be the one who gets the final hit. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> Donald and Goofy literally did the entire battle for me. Oh yeah, I forgot I have to skip it. Oops. Oh yeah, I forgot that uh, Donald and Goofy aren't very smart. So yeah, they're not very smart in this game. Or in any other game, for that matter. Yes. I could have sworn this is that the final boss appears before you have to save Rapunzel, though. Or, not the final boss. One of the bosses. The, um, chameleon guy. Hmm, good well, call. There is going to be some Heartless that show up, though. That's too fair. Mm hmm
I don't think there's a boss yet. There might be a mini boss pretty soon. Well, yeah, but it, I'm pretty sure it was a mini boss, but it was still the chameleon dude. Because he, uh. From when I played this the first time, after I defeated him, I got cure. And I went straight here instead of going to a toy box, so I didn't get, uh. I wasn't able to get the uh, air dodge ability yet. Hmm. And I remember getting my ass completely destroyed by him because of it. Because this kind of boss is not a boss that you... He's, he's the kind of boss you need air dodging for. At least in, you know, the normal way. Oh! And you miss second form. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, this is the kind of boss that you kind of need that for. Yeah. Let's see if there's a boss here yet. I know there's one at the end. I don't remember if there's one halfway through or not. No. Oh, okay. I guess he is at the end. Something I was supposed to do with Rapunzel. Okay. So out of all yeah, the worlds that are in the game, yeah. I think the only one the only ones that I actually have like multiple memories of playing in were this one, Twilight Town. At, well, this one because of, you know, the tower and all that. Um, right. And then the dancing sequence is a lot of fun. <laughs> Dancing mini game. The dancing mini game was actually kind of fun. I enjoyed it. Um, it was a lot better than I expected it to be. Yeah, that's for sure. You're about to die. Uh, that's not what I wanted, but I'll take it. <laughs> Let someone else heal me. <laughs> I'm just like a regular DPS player in Overwatch. Aimbot! <laughs> 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 oh, I mean, uh, somebody else healing me. Oh. <laughs> What's the difference? Yeah, well, they're both uh, things that are... <laughs> neither are in the aimbot thing happens, too. Mm -hmm. So, uh... We don't have any sponsorships, but, uh... <clears throat> have you heard of G Fuel before? Today's episode is sponsored by <laughs> <laughs> Channel Legends. <laughs> We, I'm really hoping in the future we can get multiple sponsors for one video. <laughs> oh my. So every five minutes be like, ah, oh, man, this boss is killing me. You know what helped me get back on my feet? G Fuel! <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll make it a half an hour long special. But every five minutes, we'll just You know speed. what isn't killing me, though? The wonderful taste of G Fuel. And the, oh my uh, gosh. You know what's paper. even better? When you can drink G Fuel while playing Raid Shadow Legends. And using your Nord VPN uh, to, <laughs> to protect yourself <laughs> from any sort of Heartless that might be trying to hack in. And then, when you're shopping online, you can save money by using honey. Oh yeah. <laughs> you could use honey to get possible coupons for more G Fuel. <laughs> It's so a win -win. <laughs> uh, No, honestly, though, I'm actually drinking watermelon G Fuel right now. It's pretty bomb. I wanted to try some for a while. Oh, well, next time you come over, you're welcome to try some. What flavor do you have? I'm using. I'm drinking watermelon right now, but we got a whole bunch of flavors. Oh, watermelon was. Uh, I think it was either watermelon or one of the fruit punch ones that I wanted. Uh, we ha okay. Let's see. For off the top of my head, we have peach iced tea, the phase berry, uh, <laughs> um, we got uh, 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 snow cone, which is actually a lot better than it sounds. Hmm. Huh. Well, it doesn't sound too bad. Yeah, it's it. The taste of it is like the texture of snow cone. It's hard to oh, explain. That's weird. 
Yeah, but it is really good. Do it to oh. Did you know that if you don't attack her right away, she doesn't attack you right away? She doesn't what? Attack you. Oh. Yeah. At least, from, be, but... at least from last time I played against her. The the last time I played it, I was just running past and she didn't None of them attacked me. I'm like, what the hell? Okay. But it could have just been a glitch, I don't know. Oh no, you killed uh you killed the Digimon, the the um Oh no. <laughs> well what's it called? The the uh Puppetmon, yeah. You killed Puppetmon, how could you? Is that really its name? Yes. Because he's a wooden puppet guy. There's quite a few Digimon that are named like that. And then you got fucking Poopmon. I don't remember his actual name, but... My favorite one is just Gun. Ah, yes. Gun is my... Well, there's also a guy that has a gun for Ed. He's my favorite well, yeah. anime. Yeah, that's the one. It's like... They're about to die. Just made no. Oh. no, I'm not. Because thanks to Raid Shadow Legends, I had a Koopo <laughs> <laughs> you got another life thanks to your G fuel. <laughs> I saved money on it by using honey. <laughs> they keep appearing. Oh my gosh! Uh, go to the other Sora. Sora, what the? Ah! What the hell, man? <laughs> Sorry, let's <laughs> turn around, dumbass. Yep. Come on. You know oh, what would have saved him? Raid Shadow Legends. G fuel. Honey? No, the problem is he didn't have enough money for a Koopo coin. Which he could have had enough money if he used honey! <laughs> Are we the next Mr. Beast? <laughs> no, we don't have $2,000 to drop on a rando streamer. <laughs> give it down. a million dollars to give away to somebody that takes their hand off the case last. Mm hmm. Or an entire home to a dude who's just delivering pizzas. That one, <laughs> that one's crazy. It's like, bro, what are you doing? Earning more money, apparently. I think that was a. And tiny he, bit he can write that though. off for taxes too, which is even better. It's a smart decision on his part. Being honest. Oh, yeah, doing all that charity stuff. Mm hmm. I mean, it also is super nice of him, like. Like, it's it's just super cool for people to actually do that. And, like I said, you can write it out for your taxes, but you're still only getting back, like, a fifth of what you spent. Which, to us, that's a lot of money. To him, probably chump change. He'll just give it back to a uh, streamer. Mm-hmm. But that, that man bad. knows how to micromanage his money. Like, <laughs> it may not seem like it, but he definitely does. Well, he's he's got, got quite a bit of uh, sponsorships. So mm -hmm. He probably gets it all from that. I know that one video was entirely funded by Honey. I think that was the pizza delivery one. Yeah. Where they tip the pizza delivery. Honey bought a house? <laughs> No, not the one where we bought a house, but where they gave away like a thousand dollars per person that delivered pizza. Woo! Yo, if I was delivering pizza to Mr. Beast's house and he gave me that much, I'd be like, I, I don't know if I can take this. <laughs> I, I mean, I really appreciate it, but like, that's a lot of money, man. All I did was bring you pizza. I, let, at least let me order you another pizza to go with it. <laughs> All I did was brought you pizza. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, man. I just, I, I can't take that much. Oh, it's cool. You can take it. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I can take it then. Since you said. Oh, well, you say so. All right, Mr. Beast, if you say. Oh, yeah. I have to use. Whee. Whoa. Whoa. It's just like the scene in the movie. Okay, we're done. Just like this entire world. <laughs> Actually, I do gotta say that I appreciate them putting uh, so much effort into this, because it looks really good. I also really appreciated how they tried really hard to involve Sora, Donald, and Goofy into the story, and then Disney, 
And then they tried to do the same with Frozen. And Disney's like, nah, mate, this ain't e this ain't enough like the movie. Go and make it look just like the movie. And they're like, how are we supposed to do that? It doesn't fit in with the story that we have at all. It's like, that's fine. It's it fine, doesn't though, need to. Because Frozen. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. It's Kingdom Hearts. It'll sell. <laughs> yeah, but like, that's not the point. <laughs> I really wish they would have gone with the... Uh... Cheater. What? <laughs> uh, I mean, it's not like confirmed that they were going to do it that way, but the one that Matt Pat had theorized yeah, about. Yeah, the theory that Matt Pat made on it, I think that explained it perfectly. Because I'm like, yeah, no, like when I went through it the first time, I'm like, wow, this level is crap. There was the a lot was of great bad. ideas, but like the part about Snowball becoming your partner is when it just killed it for me. I'm like, he's a great partner. I love him. But if they're try if they're supposed to be going off the story, it doesn't make any sense. And then they showed Chris, uh, what's his name? The, the enemy, not Kristoff. Um What's the dude's name that tricked Oh, Elsa the Prince? Yeah, the Prince. What Do you remember his name? Hans or something like that? Hans, that's right. Shit. Or something like that. I don't know. Um that's how forgettable the story is. Yeah. <laughs> well, the problem is they showed him twice in the game. No, we're 16 minutes and 40 seconds in. Yikes. Uh, uh -oh. Let's well, finish up this ba boss battle and then we'll... Uh, or <laughs> boss battle. Finish up with these couple heartless battle. and then we'll start with the next one. I mean, end it here and then see you all next week. Ha ha ha. And then start a week later. Ha ha ha. That's how we do this, right? That's how we do it here at the entertainment of the pixels. Wow, it's just like in the intro. Welcome back. <laughs> we're back, we're back. <laughs> uh, Are they all dead? They are not. I know I, I am. <laughs> this is comedy in 2019. Excuse me? McFucking excuse me? You mean 2020? Nope, 2019. No, because we're recording this in 2020. Yep, but the year has reset itself. Oh, shit. What is this, 2012 all over again? Thank you all for joining us! Oh, wow. <laughs> that movie was awful. You guys have a great rest of your day. I love you. I miss you already. Bye-bye. Ah. Yes. <laughs>